this tutorial. We will develop a sophisticated drag gesture for this SwiftUI application. What I mean by saying developing a sophisticated gesture is how this specific drag feature works in various situations. Now please, pay close attention to this demo so that you can see it in action. As you can notice, first, I am dragging and moving the cover image around the screen. However, when I release my finger from the screen, then you can notice how this cover image is being snapped back to its original position. The snap to back feature only works when the image is not scaled up. And this is one of the many desired behaviors that we need to cover through developing this complex feature. Next, now let's see what's happening when we first zoom in on the image, then drag and move around it. As you can see, it works without any glitches and we can release our fingers from the screen wherever we want and the scaled up image will stay in that particular position on the screen. Now watch carefully for what will happen when we double tap the image at some specific scale and position. Here it goes. Did you notice how suddenly the cover image shrank down and moved back simultaneously to the original position and scale? That is what I was talking about. How fantastic is that? Now let me repeat it one more time so you can catch it again. We will add another valuable feature to this pinch and zoom application by the end of this class. I hope you like it. Alright, enough with the talk. Let's fire up Xcode and start coding along with me. Image Offset Before adding a new drag gesture to the cover image, we first need to create a new mutable property to store the offset value. Enter the following code. At State Private Var Image Offset CG Size Equals to CG Size Width 0 Height 0 you also should know about this CG size structure, that it contains both width and height values. And as a coordinate vector, its value could be either positive or negative. As you can see, in our case, the initial width and height of the image offset are zero. However, when users start the drag gesture, then we will ask SwiftUI to update and store the new offset value of this property. Hold on a sec for a quick side note before we continue. Please remember this, there is a special formula to shorten these zero width and height sizes. We can replace the existing code with this new one. CG size equals to dot zero. As you can figure out, we can use this specific zero property value in case the size whose width and height are both zero. How cool is that? Now let's move on. First, please navigate the cursor to the image view and insert a new line right after the opacity modifier. You know, modifier orders matter in SwiftUI, and it is especially true when dealing with multiple gestures. Therefore make sure that you add the new drag gesture before the scale effect modifier. Enter this code. Offset. X. Image offset. Dot. Width. Y. Image offset. Dot. Height. To repeat it, we must add the offset modifier first, then the scale effect modifier after it. After all this, finally, we can add a new drag gesture to the image view. Drag gesture. Please, scroll down a little bit and enter the following code after the tap gesture. New comment. Mark. Number 2. Drag gesture. Gesture. Drag gesture. Unchanged. Value in with animation linear duration one image offset equals to value dot translation. All right, as you can see, we have just added a new drag gesture to the image view, and this dragging motion will invoke an action as the drag event sequence changes. What you should also know about SwiftUI's drag gesture is that when it performs, we can call three types of actions. There is an updating function, an unchanged function, and finally, an unended function. We have just added a new unchanged modifier to this gesture to mutate the image offset property when the gesture's value changes. Do you see this value in the gesture modifier? Yes, exactly. This value stores and returns the total translation from the start of the drag gesture to the current event of the drag gesture. And our main action is to update the image offset's width and height values with the gesture's width and height transition. Now, it's time to test how this code works in action. After the start of the live preview, we can drag and move around the cover image on the screen. 
our code works as it should. But watch out for what's happening when we stop the movement and release the cover image somewhere. As you can notice, the cover image stays in the new place as soon as we stop the drag gesture. It's a little bit odd behavior, in my opinion. And this thing makes us think about whether it is the desired behavior or we need to find a better solution for that. I think that we should move back the cover image to its original position when the drag gesture is stopped, and it is not scaled up. I hope you agree with me. Great. Now, let's see how we can further improve this drag gesture. Gesture on ended. Please, navigate the cursor after the on changed modifier. And let's enter the following code. On ended. Underscore. In. If image scale less than or equal to one with animation spring image scale equals to one image offset equals to dot zero the underscore symbol in the unended modifier tells Swift UI that we do not care about the transition value and ignore it. Furthermore, in the very basic conditional statement, we ask SwiftUI to snap back the cover image each time when its scale value is equal to or less than 1. By the way, as you will see later on, we do not prohibit users to scale down the image below 1. But each time it happens, we make sure that it will scale up to its original size. It's as simple as that. Now let's see how this works, shall we? First, we need to drag and move somewhere else the cover image. After that, when we release this image, it is snapped back to its original position, as you can see in the live preview. So far, so good. Now, we need to double tap on the image and start dragging it around the screen. And, as you can see, when we stop the drag gesture, then the image stays its position as we want. The only thing that we need to test is to scale down the image by double tapping and see what will happen. And there it goes. It's strange because the cover image is scaled down indeed. However, it has not moved back to its original place. Do not worry about it too much since we can easily cover this edge case and improve the whole feature. As you may figure out, there is a repeating pattern in our code when we simultaneously reset the image offset and scale values. Before we continue improving the feature, we first need to create a new function that will reset the image scale and offset values. The reason behind that is we can avoid code repetition. Reset function. All right, having that said, please scroll up to the top and let's create a new reset function. Enter this code. Func. Reset image state. Return with animation. Spring. Image scale equals to 1. Image offset equals to dot zero. As you can notice, we have just wrapped the previously added code snippet, which is already familiar to you, into a new function. Since there is nothing special in this code, therefore we will skip talking about it and start implementing it in various places. Please scroll down to the on tap gesture and replace the code inside the else conditional statement with this new function. Enter this code. Else reset image state. With this code, we ensured that SwiftUI would reset this image to its original position and size each time users double tap on the previously scaled up cover image. How cool is that? But we won't stop here since there are more opportunities to optimize our code. That is why please scroll down to the drag gesture modifier and replace the code inside the conditional state of the unended modifier as I do. Enter this code. Reset image state. Splendid. The only thing left to us is to test this improved code in the live preview. So let's do it right now. Please, resume the live preview if needed and start testing the application. First, we need to double tap on the cover image. Then we will drag this image on the screen a little bit. Finally, we need to double tap the image a second time and see what is happening. If everything goes well, then it should be not only scaled down but snapped back to its original position. And, there it goes. It worked like a charm. Now let's do it again if you don't mind. You have done a fantastic job so far. Congratulations on developing this sophisticated drag feature combined with a functional scale-up feature. In the upcoming lectures, we will further improve this application by adding more features. That's being said, before we continue coding, 
please take a short break so you can jump into the next section with a fresh mind. Until then, have a nice day and see you at the class.